So, hello and welcome here again to a new video and today we are going to talk a bit about yield farming and how to make profit a bit with it and also tracking the daily yields and if something new came out and obviously if that sounds interesting well I suggest you should leave a like, comment and subscribe uh, because that would help the channel uh, quite a bit and without further ado let's get started also don't forget to join um, the discord and telegram also the twitch uh, because we are stream there from time to time some live streams um, playing some games or do whatever uh, so yeah might be interesting for you guys but nevertheless uh, without further ado let's talk about the first daily yield income that we continue to have which is polaris and yeah today in around four hour and 40 minutes we will get uh, the next payment but currently looking at the tier price it feels like it is maybe better uh, picking a different pool uh, like the USDC one uh, simply because they are the one which is clearly above the TWAP price uh, that you need for it to be printing and with the current circumstances of the market being a bit undecisive uh, on whether it will continue to go up a bit longer before it crashes or if it yeah, just stays here and then we go down uh, but yeah, nevertheless um, we're going to claim the yield and withdraw uh, simply because of that fact, uh, the percentage, 252 percentage versus uh, 343, so whether uh, risking 10% uh, less than not getting paid is definitely uh, something that I am thinking, uh, so that's why I will be switching uh, the method here, because consistent income with the site is obviously better than uh, no income during that time, and yeah, the transaction now is confirmed. So we are able to stake them and sell the rest off, uh, which we are going to do obviously over on Tri Solaris. So we are taking um, the Eferno that we have earned into USDC. And why USDC? Well, I don't know. I just like USDC in general. And then we press confirm. Hit that button. Checking over onto the next daily yield that we currently have. And we are also going to look a bit on uh, Aurora itself uh, later on the video. Uh, how the network is performing overall and currently 1310 baccaronis in the Aspola and near pool uh, yes I did increase the position again simply because I wanted to uh, so yeah right now we are almost earning around 10 bucks on that position alone which is really nice to see uh, the USP USDC one 265 nothing added there yet and for the vapor wave uh, currently 14 baccaronis so also on that side nothing added there yet uh, and currently Ping P, I didn't claim yesterday anything because I was a bit tired and not really fun like doing crypto uh, but yeah 626 in total to claim um, so yeah, we claim those as well and sell them off today for some sweet USDC and yeah, Pink P is continuing to print some money I'm happy that we have invested into the platform that early and yeah, another 23 USDC that we have earned so a total of 50 USDC in stable coins from uh, those side in around two days I will say so yeah it's starting to increase and we didn't even look at the vaporwave numbers because I did not start the document yet with uh, doing the daily note down. I was just a bit too lazy yet but I uh, will definitely do those in the near future. Now looking at origami. Origami didn't do much, the position didn't do much at all. Uh, we didn't increase it, we didn't decrease it, we didn't borrow anything else. The rewards still the same, almost at 5,364. And before I forget to mention, uh, the partner pool is really paying 94% over on this side. I already uh, calculated the rewards that we have received. And I need to say, I'm impressed um, for Ping P really overall. Uh, it's a great experience since we joined the website. Overall, the rewards that we have received uh, continue to be uh, yeah, a decent amount. and. Regarding that, we now also have the stablecoin uh, pool over here, which I don't know lasts for a while. Um, yeah, pays some decent profit as well. Ninety-four um, percent. I cannot really, uh, yeah, say anything there because that's definitely amazing. Oh, we got me as well. Uh, we will increase as next the position. Uh, USDC. Uh, I think to one thousand, uh, simply because to get a good number and fully repay the loan. Uh, because 
done, we move over to Juno with the additional rewards that we receive and diversify there the rewards uh, simply because having stable coins already done if the market would go down uh, without the loan is a bit better, you know. That's why we would do that instead of um, yeah, bridging over without repaying because we don't know if prices will continue to go down or if the market turns around for real now. Uh, and yeah, why don't risk it? Uh, but yeah, regarding Aurora, the blockchain itself, the TVR continues to um, finally increase a bit since the downturn. And as you can see here, since the local low, almost 20 million has been added. Yeah, already over 20 million have been added into the blockchain. And if we scroll down, the number of protocols is also increasing, which is very nice to see. Um, and yeah, that's exactly what we hope to see for networks that you yield farm on, uh, seeing it grow in TVL and also growing in protocols, because growing in protocols means also uh, that the native token most likely will uh, get more demand because there's more yield farming opportunities or more use cases in general, like landing, borrowing and so on. And that could very likely increase the prices for those tokens. And also regarding uh, the fact that as Polaris, better to say Polar, is one of the most uh, seven day change in regards on the Aurora blockchain, which is a good indicator, for example, uh, that the yield farm is performing good, that you see an inflow instead of an outflow of money. And no, you don't have the inflow and outflow here, but you can see the TVL going up quite a lot in that time. Obviously not past the last autumn high, uh, but yeah, that's just because of the market condition sh con mm -hmm. condition conditions as well. Jesus, my bad, sorry there. Uh, but yeah, overall, I'm really happy that we selected Aurora as a blockchain to yield farm on. We definitely will have some other opportunities coming in the near future, I think. As I said with Juno, we definitely have uh, some different pools there as well that we can diversify on, hopefully before the halving. Uh, but yeah, nevertheless, uh, that's pretty much everything. We're going to keep a close eye on, uh, yeah, as I'm saying, uh, Aspola itself, like the token. Maybe we could see an increase in price in the near future just because of the fact, for example, that we saw uh, the TVL increase that much and it could very likely be also um, that the market cap now is over 50% of what the TVL is and that's uh, pretty much good. So you know that there's actually money also invested into the farming token and that's why it's actually working. Uh, so already people ask like how is this even working? Well, it's just because uh, the funds are at the right place and yeah, it is you need to look at stuff like that, you know, at the numbers instead of uh, is it safe or so. Numbers tell you then if it's safe or not, because, you know, if you, you would get like 1000% or so near, it would not be stable. And yeah, that's the fact with Polaris. Uh, that's it. Just wanted to add that because a few people got confused. But yeah, bye bye.